your timing could not be better. The Admiral has just this moment returned from meeting with the Sahagin. I shall inform her of your arrival. Ah, Kaneko time. I'm glad you're here. We have decided on our next course of action. As you know, we face two distinct, but interconnected, challenges. The transformations occurring among the Sahagin may be one, but the blasphemy itself is the root of the problem. Thus far, those who succumbed to the change have all been affiliated with the crushing tide, who continue to resist our diplomatic efforts. Were we to put a stop to the phenomenon, as well as address their grievances, we may yet have a chance at peace. To that end, I would propose a double-pronged approach. On one front, we shall work in tandem with our Sahagin allies to redouble our patrols. Should the blasphemy surface, we will share this knowledge and move immediately to dispatch the threat. At the same time, we will pursue a dialogue with the crushing tide. We need to bring them back to the negotiating table, and then see what can be done to convince them to stand down. A key point will no doubt be the lingering issue of securing land for their spawning grounds. Tis a discussion I intend to approach with an open mind. Twill be no easy task, but we succeeded with the cobbles and I have faith that we will succeed with the Sahagin as well, so long as we parley in good faith. You're wise to temper your expectations, but I would not abandon hope ere we try. At any rate, Noel has sent word that one down, a priest who styles himself the leader of the crushing tide, has grudgingly agreed to hear us out. I will parley with him face to face at the Sapsa spawning grounds, and would have you at my side. If you do not object, that is. Excellent. In that case, pray join me at South Tidergate when you are ready. From there, we will go together. We welcome your aid in our negotiations with the crushing tide. Admiral Bloy Hiswine awaits you at South Tide Gate. All prepared, are you? Dao is not known for his patience. We must take care not to incur his ire. I was told he would be at the spawning grounds upon our arrival, but it appears he has been delayed. Let us speak with the Sahagin here. Mayhap one of them will be able to shed light on what may be keeping him. One more thing. I come here as a representative of Limsa Lominsa on a diplomatic mission. Should the talks deteriorate and things come to blows, I cannot be seen to bloody my hands. I trust that you understand. And with that, let us be off. Meriel Wib is now accompanying you. Keep her at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. 
you can leave Meriwether behind by entering a different area, or by speaking with her and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have Meriwether accompany you again, return and speak with her at the original location. SSSHHH. What is this? Stones when are filthy shore walkers free to intrude upon our sacred spawning grounds. Pray forgive our intrusion. We seek an audience with Speaker Dow. Where might we find him? You will do no stupid thing, shore walker. We have not forgotten what you did to Lord Leviathan. Be gone. We won't get much out of this one. Let's try elsewhere. PSSSHHH. Why do you trespass in our domain, while shore walkers? We mean you no harm. We come only for a peaceful parley with your leader, Master Dao. Where might we find him? PSSSHHH. We desire no parley with the Shaw walkers who would steal our home. Were it not for your insatiable selfishness, we Sahagin would grow and flourish. Your grievances are justified. That is why I would speak with Master Dao and work toward a peaceful solution. PSSSHHH. Empty words from the thieving Shaw Walker. But so be it, soon you shall learn the futility of your efforts. Speaker Dao is currently overseeing security at the spawning grounds. You will find him by the entrance, though mark my words, you will wish you hadn't. We shall see. I thank you for your aid. You will find Speaker down at the spawning grounds. Seek him out if you like, but do not expect that he will listen to your empty promises. PSSSHHH. Shore workers in our spawning grounds. To what do I owe the displeasure? Speaker Dow, I presume. Our apologies for entering into your home unannounced. I am Merrill Wib Bloth Heiswin, Chief Admiral of Limsalominsa, and this is Kane Echo Tynkbin. We come seeking a parley, that we might strive for peace between our peoples. Parley, you see. Prolonging this conflict any further will lead only to needless suffering. The menace both our peoples face is great indeed. If ever there was a time to set aside our differences and come together for the greater good, it is now. 
I invite you to join us at South Tidergate for formal negotiations. Shkor workers and Sahargin, coming together. What assurance do I have that you will not split our gills the moment we sit foot within your territory? I can offer naught but my word. We open our gates to you, and invite you into our home as a show of respect. Humph. I do not trust you, Shore Walker, but let it never be said that thou of the crushing tide was a coward. I accept your offer but attempt any treachery or subterfuge, and your people will drown in their own blood. Very well, Master Dao. I look forward to a productive discussion. Let us return, then. I shall send word to Noel as well. I would have our Sahagin allies join us at the Pali. Nothis, Shore Walker, I come not because your words sway me, but to show my Shorn brothers that thou of the crushing tide is no coward. Thank you for joining us here, Master Dao. PSSSHHH. The air here sickens me. Be brief. I let us get straight to the heart of the matter. A common threat looms before us, one more powerful than any primal, with the potential to bring death without end to both Sahagin and Lominsa N alike. These circumstances call for swift and united action. You doubt our intentions, but I remind you that we have liberated many of your kin from Leviathan's enthrallment. They and countless other Sahagin have joined us, of their own free will, that we may ensure the survival of both our peoples. PSHHH. I, by their deeds have the Lominser NS proven themselves worthy of our trust. Master Dao. You and your crushing tide want only to secure a future for your people. I say to you this can only be done by confronting this threat together. PSHHH. Threats, threats. What is this threat you speak of? If it is unity you crave, then submit yourself to our command. Be as the serpent reavers. They are the only shore workers I deign to call friend.
you would ask us to willingly surrender ourselves to your Lord of the Whirl. I do. For that, and that alone, will ensure peace between us. Preposterous. You propose not alliance, but servitude. This way lies nothing but death for all Sahargan. Do you hear this, my Shporn brothers? The Shor workers have stolen this one's mind. He decries Lord Leviathan, and espouses the lunacy of our sworn foes. These treacherous wretches have abandoned our God, and conspire to drive we faithful from our ancestral home. We cannot, we must not, let this stand. PSHHH. Push pain. Push second by our spawn brothers. They side with the finless ones and blast them our lord Leviathan. They who steal our spawning grounds and slaughter our children. Our future. Our future. PSHHH. Behold, behold this blessing. Lord Leviathan grants us greater and greater strength. You would call this a blessing. PSHHH. Huge horrors. Flee. Flee for your lives. The beast makes for a leopard. I leave this place to you. PSHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHH
there is no need for apologies. You are not responsible for my people's plight. But what I cannot fathom is Dao's response. How pleased he was to see his brothers become slavering beasts. The fool believes it a blessing from Leviathan himself. Any hope for a peaceable solution will be lost should Dao and his crushing tide manage to wield these transformations as a weapon against us. I shudder at the very thought. And yet the true threat, the blasphemy, is still out there, yes. Just so. The first ones to transform are those who have fallen into the deepest depths of despair. The more painful their anguish, the more fearsome and formidable they become in their bestial forms, and the greater their influence over others. PSHHH. We can scarcely hope to stand against a legion of such foes. Would that there was more my people could do to help. I will have the Maelstrom patrol the seas for the blasphemy, that we might slay it with all due haste. But this may well amount to naught. If the blasphemy, too, was born from a Sahagin, it could be sheltering in the depths, beyond the reach of our ships. In that case, pray allow my spawn brothers and I to serve as your eyes beneath the sphere. Thank you, Noel. Through our efforts combined, we might yet weather this threat. As for your brothers who gave their lives today for our cause, I shall see that they are returned home to be laid to rest as they deserve. PSHHH. You have my gratitude, Admiral. And with that, we should return as well. There is much work to be done, and would see it done quickly. Echo time. I was just sharing our findings. So you see, the danger is exactly as the Sahagin described. While Dao and his ilk have no means of forcibly triggering the phenomenon at present, tis plain they intend to seek one out. Redouble our patrols offshore, and inform me at the first sign of anything out of the ordinary. It shall be done, Admiral. I worry that we may be stretching ourselves too thin. Should the situation take a turn for the worse, I will recall our forces from Garlemald, yet I would reserve that as a last resort. For now, I must get to work securing reinforcements. I ask that you remain close by, we may have need of your strength all too soon. <laughs> 